Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Only Joey. Of course, Joey here. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do a setup video on this bun uh, coffee maker that I just got. Um, somebody super special got it for me and to replace one that had broken. And the model number to this one is, it's the bun Speed Brew Elite. And it's model, the exact model is CSB2 in gray. I got it off of Amazon, or, or she got it off of Amazon for me. And I just want to do a quick setup video for these, because these are a little bit tricky. They're not like other coffee makers. So how these work, these buns work, is when you put water in them through here, the first time, what it does is water will come in and fill this back portion. So there will always be water in this back portion. But what you have to do when you first buy these machines is fill that back portion first with water. So this water is always going to stay hot as long as you have the power button on. That's the button on the side over here. So that will always be there will always be hot water in there as long as that water is on, uh, the button is on. So what you do when you make coffee then is you pour water into the opening, which will then then when you close the lid, it'll fill, it'll push the hot water out and give you a fast brew within four minutes. So that's the way these work. You're always just replacing the hot water that you're using. But when you first set it up, you have to fill the back tank up. So how you do that is, and this is without plugging it in, this cannot be plugged in first because you don't want that heating element to get hot and then burn out your machine right away. So what they want you to do is get a full carafe of water and, and you have to make sure this is in, the, in there first. Always wash these out with soap and water so they don't have any of the yucky manufacturing oils and all that that come with it. So you're going to take this, this water and you're just going to dump it in here. And you're going to do this a couple times, maybe two times, until the water starts coming out of the um, uh, this plastic cup. And it, just to remind everyone, leave this unplugged during this whole first setup process. So once the water is in, a full carafe of water, just close that. And you can actually hear the water dropping into that back tank. So just wait until all the water drips back in the back and you can hear it. Okay, so once that back tank, you don't hear the water filling in the tank anymore, you're just going to repeat the process again. So you're going to open the fill lid back up, get your craft full of water, and just do the same thing again. Fill this up. The machine is still unplugged. Do not plug the machine in yet. Now you're going to repeat this process until water starts coming out of the coffee make the coffee holder. And then any extra that you put in there is going to go right into the the glass pot. 
So here we go again. It's still unplugged. Shut the lid. And just wait for the water to fill up the back tank. And when it's full, water will start coming out of here into the pot. That's how you know the back tank is full. And the extra water is now it's coming out into the pot. Now don't worry about overfilling it because that the whole pot's not gonna come out. It's just the extra that was in there. Take about a minute or two. Okay, so once that is done draining all the way, make sure you kind of shake this around. You know, I like to tap on it. I don't know if that does anything, but in my mind it does. <laughs> Let's take the coffee holder around. Okay, it's done draining, obviously. So I'll just take the rest of this water, dump it. Put this back. So now you're ready to brew coffee. And you're gonna plug this in. Plug it in, like I'm doing back here. And what you're gonna do here, this coffee maker has the power button on the side here. The blue light is on. This is gonna take about 15 minutes to heat up until it's ready to be ready to brew a cup of coffee. And since this, uh, the ones with the stainless steel carafes do not have a, a heating plate because the carafe itself keeps the coffee hot, but the ones with the glass um, pot does have a heating plate. It's right here on the very front. So we're not going to keep any coffee hot right now. We're just going to get the water hot in the back. So that's the, that's the setup right there. So when it is time to make coffee, what you're going to do is... Put your grounds in there, put it back, fill your carafe up with water, pour the water in the tank in the front in the top part, and then this this little lever right here goes up and down. When you close the lid, it opens a plunger here in the back that will let the, the cold water in. And when you let the cold water in, it's gonna push the hot water out and make your coffee pretty much instantly. So we'll give this about 15 minutes to heat up. And that's, that's the way it goes. Uh, thanks for watching my channel. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. And I'll try to answer those as quickly as I can. Please click like and subscribe. And see you guys on the next one.